It was a simple statement. I plead the fifth. That's all Julio Carrillo had to say today when he took the stand during his wife's murder trial for the killing of her 10 year old daughter. Good evening. I'm Pat Callahan and I'm Amanda Hill and for Cindy Williams. One of the most anticipated parts of the highly covered trial took place this morning before jurors even arrived. New Center Maine's Beth Brogan has the story. Convicted murderer Julio Carrillo invoked his Fifth Amendment rights Friday morning and a judge ruled that he will not have to testify in the murder trial of his wife, Sharon Carrillo. Julio Carrillo is serving 55 years in prison for the murder of Sharon Carrillo's daughter, 10-year-old Marissa Kennedy. Sharon Carrillo is also charged in her daughter's death. Without the jury present, defense attorneys asked Julio Carrillo questions, including whether he alone was responsible for Kennedy's death, whether he sexually assaulted his wife and stepdaughter, and whether he took a photo of Marissa Kennedy kneeling in her underwear with her arms over her head with Sharon Carrillo standing behind her. Jurors saw that photo earlier this week and heard Carrillo describe in a police interview how she and her husband put Kennedy in that position when they beat her with a belt and a mop, punched and kicked her. Julio Carrillo pleaded the fifth to every question. Justice Robert E. Murray said Julio Carrillo retains his Fifth Amendment rights against self-incrimination because of the post-conviction process. Defense attorneys say Sharon Carrillo did not participate in the abuse of her daughter. Everything was the uh, product of uh, Julio Carrillo's mind, and uh, he was trying to shift blame and suggest that Sharon was also involved, and that's the narrative that the police detectives were getting Sharon to endorse during their long interrogation. Also on Friday, a former neighbor of the Carrillos testified that he repeatedly called police and DHHS after hearing what sounded like abuse in the apartment, but no action was taken. Sharon Carrillo's father and stepmother, Joseph and Roseanne Kennedy, also testified Friday that Julio Carrillo isolated his wife and brutalized his stepdaughter. Angrily, Roseanne told prosecutors that she thought Julio Carrillo had control over Sharon Carrillo, Roseanne said Sharon Carrillo, quote, had no choice. Her brain was gone. It seems so cut and dry. This, you know, you think from the beginning that she's guilty. She's a mother. She should know better. And yet there are so many things against that worked against Sharon and her freedom. Now we know how much the control issue and how it impacts people so dramatically. In Belfast, Beth Brogan, News Center, Maine. Sharon Carrillo's attorneys say their defense will continue into next week. They expect the trial to wrap up by December 18th. We have much more on this story on our website and our mobile app.